Hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine today we will see standard 7th and subject science in that chapter number 11 transportations in animals and plants in that main 5 answer the following questions in one sentence one mark each number 1 what is the function of hemoglobin in a blood answer is hemoglobin in a blood combines with oxygen and transport it to all the parts of the body and ultimately to all the cells now we will see the next page what is the function of white blood cells present in the blood answer is the white blood cells fight against germs that may enter air that may enter our body question number 3 state the types of blood vessels answer is the types of blood vessels number 1 artery number 2 vein number 3 capillaries question number 4 what is called an artery answer is the blood vessels that carries blood from heart to all parts of the body is called an artery now see question number 5 what is called vein what is called a vein answer is the blood vessels that carries blood from all parts of the body to the heart is called a vein question number 6 why do the arteries have thick and elastic walls answer is the arteries have thick elastic walls because the blood flow through them is rapid and at a high pressure and at a high pressure question number 7 what is the pulse rate answer is the pulse rate is the number of beating of pulse in a one minute now see the question number 8 state the pulse rate in a human in resting condition answer is in a resting condition the pulse rate in human is about 72 to 18 So the question number 9 from where to where does the blood flow in pulmonary vein answer is in pulmonary vein blood flows from lungs to the left atrium of the heart see the question number 10 state the size of the human heart answer is the size of the human heart is roughly the size of one's fist see the question number 11 which part of the heart has oxygenate rich blood and which part has carbon dioxide rich blood answer is the left part means left atrium and left ventricle has oxygen rich blood and the right part means right atrium and right ventricle has carbon dioxide rich blood see the question number 12 what are capillaries answer is near the tissues arteries divide into extremely thin tubes called capillaries see the question number 13 mention the organs of human excretory system answer is the organs of human excretory systems are kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra see the question number 14 what are the components of blood name them answer is the components of blood are plasma red blood cells means rbcs white blood cells wbcs and platelets see the question number 15 what makes the blood look red answer is the presence of hemoglobin makes the blood look red now see the next page now see the main six define one mark each number one excretion the process of removal of waste produced in the cells of the animals is called excretion number two tissues answer is a tissue is a group of cell that perform specialized function in an organisms see 
the main seven answer the following questions in a sort two marks each number 1 state the components of blood and write the function of each of them answer is the components of blood and its function are as follows number 1 plasma it transports nutrition salts gases waste etc number 2 red blood cells it transports oxygen to all cells of body with the help of hemoglobin number 3 white blood cells answer is it fights against germ cells that may enter our body and number 3 platelets that's one is it helps in blood clotting at a site of bleeding due to injury now for the question number 2 state the functions of blood answer is main point 1 it transport nutrition salts respiratory gases excretory waste etc point 2 white blood cells present in a blood fight against germs and protects the body against disease point 3 bleeding stops by the process of clotting at the cut number 4 it helps to maintain body temperature see the question number 3 state the types of blood vessels and explain in brief about each of them answer is the types of blood vessels are as follows number 1 arteries the blood vessels that carries blood from heart to all parts of the body is called arteries especially pulmonary artery has carbon dioxide rich blood it has thick elastic wall number 2 vein the blood vessels that carries blood from all parts of the body to the heart is called a vein expansionally pulmonary vein has oxygen rich blood it has thin wall number 3 capillaries near the tissues arteries divided into extremely thin tubes called capillaries exchange of materials occur between blood and vessels of tissue through their fine thin walls see the question number 4 why is transport of materials necessary in a plant or in an animal explain answer is all plants and animals need food water and oxygen for survival they need to transport all these two various parts of their body further animals need to transport waste to parts from where they can be removed for to feel fulfill all this transport of materials necessary in a plant or in an animal now we will see the question number 5 in the next video part 3 stay safe stay healthy okay bye